I'm running the career stats of five minor league prospects against the career stats of today's MLB superstars. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? Kyle here. Let's Talk Wax with Predicting Superstars, Episode 2. In this series, we'll be looking at how some of today's top prospects measure up against today's top MLB hitters. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Anthony Volpe, Oswald Peraza, Jose Salas, Edwin Arroyo, and Royce Mark and Tana. If you want to access some of my exclusive content, head over to my Patreon page. I'll put a link in the description of this video. I'm also running some free giveaways courtesy of break grading on all of my social media outlets. Head over there to enter my Prospector's Challenge giveaways for a chance to win free graded cards from BRG. If you're interested in subbing some cards through BRG, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Before we start, I'm going to explain how I compile my prospect scores. I compiled career minor league stats for 13 of today's MLB superstars, including Mike Trout, Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis Jr., Ronald Acuna Jr., Mookie Betts, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Rafael Devers, Nolan Arenado, Freddie Freeman, Bryce Harper, Jordan Alvarez, Jose Ramirez, and Manny Machado. You can see each superstar's career batting average, isolated power, K percentage, K to walk ratio, OPS, stolen bases, and age at each level. In the green row, I created an average of all of these numbers to compare against the career numbers of today's top prospects. Now, if you guys are already familiar with how the predicting superstars formula works, you can go ahead and fast forward about 30 seconds. But if not, I'm going to run through using a quick example with Julio Rodriguez. This may get a bit complicated, but just follow the color scheme as I explain. The gray bar just shows the different stats I use to compile my data. The green bar shows the superstars and prospects career average of each stat. The blue bar shows how I scaled each stat to create a value that you can see for the superstars and each prospect. Finally, the purple bar represents the difference between each spot, good or bad. I totaled the purple differential bar and divided it by 10 to accrue a score for each prospect. The higher the number, the better, and some scores do go into the negative. Assume all the superstar scores would be zero, and the further above zero, the better, and the further below zero, the worse. Julio Rodriguez's final score is a 9.7, which indicates his career numbers were 9.7 points better as a whole than the superstars. If you're still confused, just follow the scores. Leading off this video is New York Yankees shortstop prospect Anthony Volpe. Volpe is only 21 years old and is currently ranked as the 8th best prospect in all of minor league baseball and the number one prospect in the New York Yankees organization via MLB.com. He was drafted in the first round of the 2019 draft out of Del Barton High School in New Jersey and played his first professional season in the Appalachian League. Volpe had a mediocre debut in 2019 and missed the entire 2020 season due to the COVID pandemic. After a year off, Volpe had one of the best seasons of any prospect in the minor leagues in 2021. At the age of 20, between low A and high A, Volpe hit 294 with 27 homers, 33 stolen bases, while holding a 1.027 OPS. Volpe had become one of the top prospects in the minors and was sent to AA Somerset to begin the 2022 season. So far this year, he hasn't been able to replicate the brilliance of the 2021 season, but he's having a solid year as a 21.3 year old in AA. Volpe's hitting 256 with 13 home runs, 35 stolen bases, and a 200 plus ISO. His career numbers are some of the very best in the minor leagues, and as you can see from the graph, he stacks up well against today's superstars and their career minor league numbers as well. Volpe took dings on his career batting average, K percentage, K to walk ratio, and age for level. Because of his ability to hit for power and reach base, he was awarded points for his career 249 ISO and his 904 OPS. Volpe's final score in this episode is a 0.6, which means his career numbers are a tad bit better than today's superstars. Oswald Peraza is very similar to Anthony Volpe, just a year older and a level higher. He's MLB.com's number 38 overall prospect and the number two prospect in the Yankees organization behind Anthony Volpe. Peraza was signed in 2017 out of Venezuela and didn't really make a splash performance-wise until last year. He played through three levels at the age of 21 all the way to AA where he finished the season with a 297 batting average, 18 home runs, and 38 stolen bases. During the 2021 season, Peraza gained a ton of hobby traction and entered the 2022 season at AAA. Much like Volpe, Peraza has yet to put up the astonishing numbers that he did in 2021, but he's having a very good season and is still one of the top shortstop prospects in the upper minors. So far this year, he's hitting 253 with 12 homers, 22 stolen bases, and a 23.3K percentage. Peraza didn't line up quite as well as Volpe career-wise versus the superstars. 
He lost points in every offensive category except stolen bases per plate appearance, and his final score in this episode is negative 36.8. Although his score is low, Peraza possesses some very exciting tools and could receive a call-up at any moment in 2022. Next on our list is Miami Marlins shortstop prospect Jose Salas. Salas is just 19.3 years old and was recently promoted to high A. He's not listed on MLB's top 100 prospects list yet, but I have a strong feeling that we may see him on that list next year. Salas has been challenged with somewhat aggressive assignments by the Marlins since he was signed out of Venezuela for $2.8 million in 2019. He was able to get some work in in 2020 at the Marlins Instructional League and had an excellent professional debut at the age of 18 between the Complex League and A-Ball. In 2021, he hit 305 while maintaining quality K numbers. So far in 2022, Salas is hitting 265 with 7 homers, 22 stolen bases while posting a career-high 144 ISO. Salas is most likely to grow out of shortstop in the future, and he's already spent the majority of his games in high A at second base. He's got fringe power at the moment, but I can't really say in confidence how much more he'll run into down the road. When compared to today's superstars, like most prospects on this list, he took dings in every offensive category aside from stolen bases per plate appearance. Salas' biggest deficits came in K numbers and OPS, while his losses were marginal in the batting average and ISO column. It's hard to believe these players are getting docked points for near 20% K rates. It just goes to show how elite these superstars were in the minor leagues. Salas finished with a negative 28 in this episode, but has a lot of promise as he's still just 19.3 years old. Edwin Arroyo is the youngest player in this episode of Predicting Superstars at 18.9. Arroyo was drafted in the second round of the 2021 MLB Draft by the Seattle Mariners. The shortstop only played 21 games in 2021 where he didn't stand out but came on strong in 2022. He was a recent addition to MLB.com's Top 100 Prospects and was also bumped up to number 3 in the Seattle Mariners organization after the graduation of top prospect Julio Rodriguez. The young shortstop is currently playing in low A where he's hitting 314 with a 191 ISO, 13 homers, 21 stolen bases, and quality K numbers. Arroyo has played every game but 3 at shortstop so far and looks to stay there as long as possible. When compared to today's MLB superstars, Arroyo took home points in the ISO and stolen bases per plate appearance category. He lost the most points in the K-to-walk ratio department with a career 2.64 K-to-walk ratio. Arroyo scored a negative 20.6 on this episode, which is actually pretty good. Roismar Quintana is the final prospect on this episode of Predicting Superstars. He was signed out of Venezuela for just under a million dollars in 2019 and had a quick debut in the Complex League in 2021 where he only had 20 plate appearances. Quintana is repeating the Complex League in 2022 at the age of 19.4 where the outfielder is hitting 295 with a 114 ISO. He's the number 14 prospect in the Nationals organization according to MLB.com. And for his organizational rank being quite low, he performed pretty well compared to the superstars. Quintana lost points in every category, with his greatest deficits coming in K percentage, K to walk ratio, and OPS. He only lost a total of 12 points between batting average and ISO, which were some of the smallest deficits in those categories in this episode. His final rank came in at negative 28.3. In this episode, Anthony Volpe takes first place as the only player scoring above zero with a 0 0.6. Arroyo brought home the silver medal with a score of negative 20.6 ahead of Salas and Quintana who both scored in the negative 28s. Oswald Peraza's early 2022 struggles left him with a negative 36.8 in this episode, but he's shown significant improvement in both ISO and batting average since the start of 2022. Anthony Volpe is our only new addition to the overall top five in this episode. His score on July 19th was good for third place behind Adiel Amador's score of 1.4 and Jordan Lawler's score of 12.1 back on July 14th. Now remember, these scores are temporary and subject to change until a player graduates to the MLB, so I'll put the date on each score as a reference point. In the future, I'll continue to track out our top 10 scoring prospects, which could be a lot of fun. That's going to wrap up this episode of Predicting Superstars. If you guys have any prospects you'd like me to run through my formula, drop them in the comments below and I'll add them to the master list. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the description. Over there, you can find 24 hours early access to all video information, a dedicated Discord server with over 100 members, Excel breakdowns of every Bowman Chrome autograph checklist from all releases 2019 to 2022, a Top 100 Bowman Chrome models list, and a Top 100 Bowman Chrome autos under $50 list. And don't forget to check out my free giveaways courtesy of Break Grading on all of my social media outlets. Head over there to enter my Prospector's Challenge giveaways for a chance to win a BRG9 Christian Encarnacion Strand 2021 Bowman Chrome Draft Auto. If you're interested in subbing some cards through BRG, I'll put a link in the description of this video. A special shout out to all of my level 3 patrons, Max, Tom Barda, Gary Childers Jr., and Just Dingers Breaks. 
I really appreciate all my viewers and subscribers. And thank you to all of my supporters over on Patreon. We have an amazing community over there, and it's all because of you guys. Y'all have a great day.